taking place in the third year of the colonial exodus and arguably the most important battle of the Second Cylon War. The Battle of New Caprica was an attempt by the colonial fleet to recover those New Caprican settlers and civilian starships that had become trapped on the planet following its occupation by the Cylons. The stakes of the battle were higher than any engagement previously fought by the colonial fleet. Victory would mean the rescue of almost 40,000 civilians who collectively made up the bulk of the human race at the time but the attempt placed both the colonial fleet and the subjugated colonists in great danger and risked the very extinction of the entire human species. The strategy through which the colonials hoped to rescue their new Caprican brethren was developed by Admiral William Adama. As a contingency in case of failure, Commander Lee Adama of the Battlestar Pegasus, being in control of the tactically superior vessel, would keep his ship and its fighter complement out of the battle to protect the colonial fleet and to take over as its flagship should the Galactica not return from New Caprica. The spaceborne attack was coordinated with elements of the New Caprican resistance on the surface. At the time of the Galactica's arrival, resistance ground forces would begin a full-scale uprising against their Cylon occupiers. In theory, this would create a serious distraction for the Cylons, forcing them to react to two separate attacks, but it also provided an opportunity for the resistance to secure the launch keys to their grounded vessels and begin evacuating the system under the cover of Galactica's guns. The Colonials began the engagement by jumping the Battlestar Galactica into the perimeter of the New Caprica Nebula, where it was concealed from Cylon detection, and deploying a wing of Assault Raptors and Vipers under the command of Galactica's CAG, Captain Luan Katrine. Assuming positions some distance from their mothership, the Assault Raptors then launched two salvos of Swallow-class guided drones. The two flights of drones were programmed to broadcast collective signals, which would cause them to appear on Dradus as the Battlestar's Galactica and Pegasus, respectively, seemingly having jumped into the system to begin their attack. On the surface, the civilian uprising was well underway, and the distracted Cylon commanders interpreted the Dreadus signals exactly as the Colonials hoped, moving their defensive fleet of two base stars and their respective raider complements towards the drone clusters. Once their vanguard of raiders reached the detected Dreadus signatures, the Cylons realised too late that they had been deceived. What followed was considered one of the boldest and most creative military tactics ever employed and would be remembered by history as the Adama Maneuver. On the order of Admiral Adama, the Galactica performed an intra-atmospheric combat jump, emerging kilometres above New Caprica City and rapidly falling toward the planet's surface. As the Battlestar fell, it spooled its FTL drives whilst simultaneously launching an entire wing of Vipers into the skies of New Caprica, well beyond the Cylon blockade that had been deployed to stop them. Having departed the Galactica, the Vipers began to support resistance forces on the ground, eliminating any weapons platforms or defence towers that could pose a threat to the escaping civilians or their ships. With its fighters deployed, the Galactica re-engaged its FTL drive, a mere hundred feet from the planet's surface us leaving a flaming silhouette and deafening thunderclap in its wake as it returned to high orbit. As the Galactica returned to its orbital position, it discovered the Cylon defence fleet in disarray, with their radar wings spread across the gravity well, either returning from their interception of the decoy drones, or attempting to engage the wing of raptors and vipers that had deployed them. This forced the two base stars to engage the Galactica without their fighter support, pulling them into a position where they could not engage any escaping civilian vessels, and placing them in serious danger of destruction beneath the Galactica's guns. This colonial good fortune would not last, however, as the Galactica moved into position to engage the unescorted base stars. Two more full-strength base stars the Cylons had kept in reserve were deployed via FTL on the Galactica's flank, and the Battlestar was caught in a brutal crossfire between four Cylon warships and two wings of fighters. Taking heavy damage, the Galactica suffered a temporary loss of its jump capability and was unable to escape the system. As Cylon missiles continued to buckle its hull plating, the vessel began to suffer critical explosive decompressions, and though the Cylons had been successfully drawn away from the escaping civilian flotilla, the Galactica's destruction seemed certain. But the Colonials had reinforcements of their own. Emerging via combat jump, the Battlestar Pegasus appeared on the Cylons' flank. In violation of orders, Commander Leodama had 
had left his ship's fighter complement to escort the colonial fleet and jumped his vessel to the new Caprica system to rescue the Galactica. The Goliath Mercury class Battlestar charged towards the disoriented Cylons, quickly reducing a base star to flaming ruin beneath its massive forward guns and forcing the enemy to shift their fire away from the Galactica and redeploy their fleet. With its FTL unit back online and auxiliary craft landed, the Galactica jumped out of the engagement zone, accompanied by the last of the escaping civilian ships. Though it had saved the Galactica from destruction, the Battlestar Pegasus had suffered catastrophic damage, and its own FTL systems were now disabled. Giving the order to abandon ship, Commander Leodama plotted a collision course with the closest Cylon base star, before evacuating his skeleton crew aboard Raptors and fleeing the battlefield. With her crew safely out of danger, the Pegasus cruised through the raging battle around it and slammed into the hull of its target base star, destroying both vessels completely. As the Battlestar's fusion core overloaded, it catapulted the ship's severed starboard flight pod away from the blast, and the huge chunk of debris collided with another of the Cylon's warships, crushing its hull and tearing its space frame apart. Though she did not survive the engagement, the Battlestar Pegasus paved the road to its destruction with the battered husks of two Cylon base stars, and through its sacrifice, saved the lives of the Galactica's crew and those of almost 40,000 civilians. Though hard fought and sorely won, the Colonials had achieved a strategic victory over New Caprica. The countless civilians recovered from the planet would ensure the sustainability of the human race, and though the fleet would never again know the security it enjoyed under the protection of the Battlestar Pegasus, it would nevertheless survive to carry humanity to its ultimate destination.